Welcome to Puzzles and Solutions. In this video, I will go through puzzle 34 from the Mensa Norway IQ test. First, I will go through a quick summary of the problem before solving it. To solve this puzzle, we have to find the pattern of the black and white dots. The black dots repeat on the diagonal from the top right to bottom left. The white dots have predictable patterns on the rows, columns and diagonals, but the black dots always show instead of the white dots if they overlap. This black dot priority in front of the white dots leads to it being very difficult finding the pattern of the white dots. Let's start by looking at the pattern of the black dots. The black dots repeat on these diagonals from top right to bottom left. If we look in any of these lines, we can clearly see that the black dots repeat in position. The blue diagonal has one black dot on the middle right and one on the bottom left. The red diagonal has one black dot on the middle left. And finally, the green diagonal, which our answer is in, also has one black dot on the middle left. Looking at the answers, we see that E has a black dot on middle right instead of the middle left. Therefore, E is not the correct answer. Now let's find the pattern of the white dots. I will use the pattern in the rows and the overall picture of the white dots to show you how I derived the solution to this puzzle. The first thing to notice is that every picture contains either one or two white dots. If you focus on the picture with two white dots, we can see that every such picture has two white dots next to each other. This indicates that all white dots have to be right next to each other. If we now focus on the picture with one white dot, we see that every white dot here is next to one or two black dots. This might indicate that there are actually more white dots which are hidden under the black dots. Also, since there is a maximum of two white dots per picture, what if every single picture contains two white dots, but they're hidden under the black dots? Taking a look at the first row, we can see five white dots, and each of the white dots are in different positions. What I mean by position is that we can see every dot can be in a total of 6 places. If we look at every white dot in this row, they never occur in the same position more than once. We can see that there is one white dot missing in order to get a white dot in every position. This indicates that there should be an extra white dot on the middle left in one of the pictures. Now let's step back for a moment and think of the very first idea I mentioned in this video. I said that there might be two white dots in every picture, the white dots are right next to each other. Looking at the first picture, we can clearly see how there has to be a white dot on the middle left if this is true. This fulfills one white dot in every position as well, so we kind of have two points of view that indicate the same thing, so it's very probable that it's true. Now let's look at the second row and look for patterns there. The first picture already have two white dots. The second picture has one white dot, which is next to a black dot. This indicates that there should be a white dot underneath the black dot. The third picture also have a white dot next to a black dot, so there should be a white dot underneath the black dot. We can clearly see how there is one white dot in every position in this row now, so the second model holds up as well. Now you might tell yourself that these rules are somewhat arbitrary picked, and that they could be true by random chance. But looking at the columns and diagonals, there is a clear indication that these rules are in fact true. I'll shortly go through the pattern in the columns and diagonals in the end of the video. To solve the puzzle, let's look at the last row. We can see three white dots on the row, which are marked in blue on the side. Also looking at the answers, when I went through the black dots, we noticed that there has to be a black dot in the middle left. So you can see how we have two possible positions left for the white dots, which I've drawn in red. Both the positions cannot be occupied at the same time by the white dots, because the white dots would be too far apart from each other. This leads to two possible pictures. A black dot on the middle left and a white dot on the middle right, or a black dot on the middle left and a white dot on the bottom left. Looking at the answers, we see that no answer is identical to the first picture, so it has to be the second picture. Answer A is identical to the second picture, therefore A is the correct solution. Before ending the video, I will look at the general pattern for the white dots. If I remove all the black dots, you could clearly see all the patterns. In the rows, the white dots are moved two positions in counterclockwise direction. Or you could say that the white dots occur exactly once in each position in each row. In the columns, the white dots are moved in one position in counterclockwise direction. In the top right to bottom left diagonals, the white dots are moved in one position in a clockwise direction. And finally, in the top left to bottom right diagonals, the white dots are moved in three positions in a clockwise direction. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you again in the next puzzle.